What's up guys, I'm Dapper Jeff, your Gamer Chef, and today I thought about comfort food because, you know, last week we did those fantastic pork chops and I got to thinking, who needs more comfort than anyone right now during this COVID pandemic? And it hit me, doctors, doctors, nurses, those who are literally on the front lines in the healthcare profession. So to any and all of you watching out there who are, you know, frontline, essential employees, doctors, nurses, I know you probably get this a lot. If you don't, I truly apologize, but I sincerely thank you for all you're doing, for putting yourself and those you care about potentially at risk um, to try to help the world become a better place. So, you guys are heroes. I don't care what anybody else says. On that note, speaking of heroes, I was inspired by you wonderful heroes in the medical profession. So this week, I busted out my Overwatch cookbook because, I mean, heroes. And I looked up a recipe for my favorite doctor, Dr. Angela Ziegler. You might know her better as Mercy. So today, in honor of Mercy, we are making a delicious cheese soup, which I hope you guys will love. I'm going to love it. Um, it is one of my few gluten-free vegetarian dishes. So um, that having been said, I'm super excited because I feel like I don't do enough vegetarian, vegan-friendly dishes. I definitely don't do enough gluten-friendly dishes, so I'm, I am trying to get better about bringing, you know, everybody into the circle. Come with me into my kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic soup for your super person. Alright guys, so one of the first things you're going to need for this fantastic cheese soup is a saucepan. You want it on medium heat. We're going to take our butter and just drop our butter right there on the bottom. I'm going to let this melt for just a second. I'm going to kind of swirl it around to coat the bottom of the pan. And now you want a medium saucepan or large if you're doing double the recipe I have listed. Uh, I am not doing double. I just happen to find very large carrots and a very large leek. So we got the butter melted. Speaking of carrots and leek, that's what you're going to add now. So got your large carrots. large leek and you are just going to let those cook in here for just a couple minutes um, just until they start to soften so that's going to take a few minutes but we got them right in there and uh, I will see you guys in just a second when these are nice and soft all right guys it's been a few minutes um, our leeks are getting soft which is exactly what we want because remember, it's more so about softening up the leeks than the carrots. Because the carrots, see, I'm one of those weird, like, you know, I, I don't, you know, I like cooked carrots, don't get me wrong, but not overcooked. I like them to have a little crunch to them, a little bit of bite. Uh, you know, much like Dr. Ziegler. I mean, Mercy, you know, whatever you want to call her. You know, the, the, the healing person who can not just heal, but be awesome. Anyway, so our leeks are nice and soft, which is exactly what we want. Next up is the potatoes, potato, sorry, singular, Just dump that right on in. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, Dapper Jeff, that potato had some like funky grayish spots or brown spots. And that's only because I cut the potato maybe half an hour, 45 minutes ago, uh, doing all my prep work. And that is perfectly normal if you cut a potato and it develops those brown spots before you use it. That just means that it's running out of liquid. So. I got our potato in there. Next up is our vegetable stock, which I'm going to carefully pour in and try not to make a huge mess. There's that. Our milk. I'm going to pour that in right in there with it. I'm going to bring this to a nice simmer. So actually, I'm probably going to drop the heat a little bit, just a touch, uh, down to a five instead of a six. I'm going to stir this together. And here is actually where we let it sit for 20 minutes. And I know what you're thinking, Dapper Jeff, 20 minutes, man, that's a lot of time. What am I going to do, yo? What am I going to do till then? Play some Overwatch. You know, reach, reach out to those in need. All right, guys, so our oven timer just went off. So we're going to uncover our fantastic soup. Got my hot pad holder take the lid off. Uh, when you are letting this simmer, you will want to check on it every couple minutes just to make sure it doesn't foam up and bubble over. Um, I kind of had that issue myself because I broke a cardinal kitchen rule number one and I stepped away for more than about two minutes. So that was on me. 
But look at this. Um, the veggies should be fork tender. I am actually about to... You know what? I'm going to grab a fork and make sure they're tender. Give me just a second, guys. And I want to be careful using a fork in this cookware because this is, like, nicer... Uh, if you guys have, like, Kaflon, you know, non-stick cookware, do not use metal utensils to stir in it. That will scratch the ever-loving uh, goodness out of it. Okay, that handle is a little on the warm side. All right, so we have our base, and it looks great. Smells heavenly. Uh, once again, I wish you guys could smell what I smell. So I'm going to take my spoon, set it there. Next up, we're going to add our spinach. And I just kind of chopped it roughly. So there's that. I'm going to stir this in. Going to stir in the spinach into our delicious potato soup. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dapper Jeff, I thought you said it was a cheese soup. And it is. I just haven't added the cheese yet. On that note, that having been said, actually cool, cool surface right here. I am going to reach over, grab my cheese, and start gradually uh, stirring the cheese in. I have our great fresh grated cheese, and when I say fresh grated, I mean I busted the grater out myself. And I'm going to start sprinkling it in and mixing it in. Turn the heat up just a touch. Um, I am using a Gruyere cheese, a smoked Gruyere, I should say, sorry. Um, so I'm getting that extra hit of like the smokiness, the extra flavor from that. Um, I absolutely love smoked Gruyere. It is a nice cheese. It is on the swanky fancy side. It is on the, if you're cooking on a budget, trust me on this one, it's not the most budget friendly. Uh, I will argue this is totally worth it though. So I'm going to sprinkle. I just want to sprinkle it in, you know, mix it in as it gra uh, gradually melts. It is thickening a little bit. That's awesome. That's exactly what I want it to be doing. Get in there. Oh, oh, it's so good. It smells so heavenly. So I am just mixing this all together. All right, well, I'm gonna have a nice lunch today. Nice bowl of potato cheese soup. Oh, and the smoky, the smokiness of the cheese. Uh, is definitely coming out in the smell of the soup, which is absolutely heavenly. Um, but yeah, that's more or less it. And the final component is, I mean, obviously you're going to want salt and pepper to taste. I have not tasted this yet. But the last little thing I am putting in here is a quarter cup of heavy cream. So... I'm going to mix in that cream, going to mix in the cream. I'm going to cut the heat on this because everything is cooked. Um, the cheese is melted. I'm going to give this a nice taste and see if it needs anything. So I will see you guys in just a minute for our outro. But uh, yeah, everything looks fantastic. All right, guys, that's how you make a delicious potato cheese soup for you, your friends, and all the heroes in your life. Um, I want to say thank you once again to especially everybody on the, uh, in the medical field who's out there working tirelessly to try to keep us all safe. Um, I love that so many people are, are starting to kind of come together. Um, you know, I, yes, it's a horrible thing that's happening, but there are some positives coming out of it. Uh, we are, as a, as a society, as a culture, finally kind of realizing hey we're, we're we're stronger as you know together as one so on that note um i'm going to have my delicious soup i will see you guys next week for a brand new episode but until then let's take care of yourself and stay well fed so step with me into my kitchen i said step with me i meant to say come with me but that's okay because we're already in my kitchen haha -ha.